Let's do diabetes. This one is even more eye-opening. And I'm going to show you a couple charts. So one cohort study, so one observational study, found that consumption significantly lowered the risk. And it was the nurse's health study. So the same one that seemed to show a benefit for heart disease showed a little bit lower risk of developing diabetes. So again, because of the observation, they did some controlled studies. And here's what they found out. Oh, look, I, I do want to read you this. The author says, <clears throat> to, um, our findings suggest potential benefit of higher nut and peanut butter consumption in lowering the risk of type 2 diabetes in women. To avoid increasing calories, nuts can be recommended as a replacement for white flour and red and processed meats. That's where you saw the benefit. So they did controlled studies. This was in 2002, and look what they found. In a controlled studies, nuts had no impact on blood sugars. So they did it again in 2004. And again, they found no difference between nuts and no nuts and hemoglobin A1C. Then they found in this one that those who were given the walnuts, their blood sugars went up. Now we should never believe the author, right? So let's look at the chart. They started out with an average blood sugar of 130, right there, 129.7. Those who got the diet, ad libitum diet, eat all you want without nuts, their blood sugar went up three points. Those who got the nuts, it went up 10. Now somebody once said to me, you can't show me any study that where nuts don't do very well. There's one. So now this one came out. This is the one you hear about. This is when people say that if you're on a plant-based diet and you're eating starches or carbohydrates, you're going to get diabetes. You should be eating more nuts. In fact, we know that if you replace potatoes, one more food, with nuts, the other more food, your blood sugars will come down. Two ounces of nuts daily as a replacement for carbohydrates improved both, both glycemic control and serum lipids. There it says it. There's the study. So I could tell you, Howard, I could say that. Right? But remember, do we believe that? No. Let's look. Nuts as a replacement for carbohydrate in the diabetic diet. There's the conclusion. What does it say? Two ounces of nuts daily as a replacement for carbohydrates improved blood sugar and serum lipids. We already know about the lipids. So let's look at the blood sugar. There's the chart. Now, I don't know about you, but when I'm thumbing through the medical journals with nothing better to do, and I come upon a chart like this and I see this different, that's the people who got, by the way, they never got potatoes. They got a muffin made out of skim milk, protein powder, refined flour. That's what the carbohydrate was. So they got a muffin, an ounce of nuts, or two ounces. Muffin, ounce, or two ounces. So when I look there, you know what I first think? Wow! Doesn't that look big? Doesn't that look like it's going to really matter? But I don't know if any of you see this. That's a rigged chart. You see it? You see this number here? They're showing you, they're measuring what's called A1C. And they're all at about 7. And they go to 7.3 to 6.7. Does anybody know what A1C number we're all shooting for? Yeah, they, some say under 6. And now they say even 5.6 or less. So why are you just showing me this? So here's their chart put into bar charts. This is for two ounces of nuts. That's for one ounce. And that's for the muffin. So this is, the, this is what you hear in the news. And, but that's, we got to change the scale. That's an irrelevant scale to you. Let's make the scale from eight to five, because we want you down by 5.5. And all the nuts did was lower it from 7.1 to 6.9. See what happened when we fixed the scale? Is that a big deal? If you showed me that, you know what I would say? 
whoop de doo <laughs> And look at the one ounce of nuts. They went from 7.1 to 7. You know what I would say? No, 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 come on, all together now. Okay, because you're going to have to start saying that when you leave here. You're not eating nuts? Whoop de doo Now, by the way, does anybody know what the measurement error is in some of these tests? <laughs> Let's ask a doctor. Is this possible that 7.1 to 7 could be a measurement error? 100%. Might not have even mattered. And by the way, if you gave somebody drugs who had diabetes and you gave them diabetic drugs and for a few months or 12 weeks, whatever it was, and they came back and they went from 7.1 to 7 or 7.1 to 6.9, what would you say? whoop de doo <laughs> A big whoop de doo So that was A1C. Here's blood sugar. And again, notice two ounces, one ounce muffin. Notice they show you this big drop. You know what I say? You're not sounding very enthusiastic about that. <laughs> okay, here we have to scale it. Notice this isn't scaled. It's 134 to 126. Right, do I got one? It's misleading. What number do we want to see blood sugars below? 100. So let's make 140 to 90. We got to get below 100. You ate nuts for 12 weeks, two ounces, and you went from 131 to 129. I would say, now I just want you to stop and think about this for a minute because we have literally wars going on between potatoes and walnuts. And that war is over two points on your blood sugar, 0 0.2 points on your A1C. Think about that. I mean, I'm always up for a good fight. But I hope I'm fighting for more than two points. So, diabetes, the impact of nuts on diabetes is mixed and minimal at best, and possible only when nuts replace refined grains or processed foods. That's it. So let me ask you a question. If you're on a whole food, plant-based diet with little to no salt, oil, or sugar, does that even matter to you? Because those studies were done on people eating Standard American diets, and all they got was a two-point drop in blood sugar and a 0.2 drop in A1C. And that's people on a bad diet. So here's a very important question we all have to think about. What relevance do any of the studies I've shown you so far with those minimal results have to do with you if you're eating a healthy diet? Zero. Zero. Now think about what the wars are over. Zero. Freud called it, everybody know Freud? The narcissism of small differences. <laughs> Has anybody heard that term? Yeah. Look it up tonight. It's taken minutia, blowing it up to make it sound bigger than it is, just for the sake of argument. That's it. So wait, we got to go to the last one. Weight. 